Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Mega Games Tycoon 2. Well, in the last episode, we released Fashionista, which was our best game yet, but this little icon right here, that means it's a commercial failure. It's not selling well. We're going to lose a bunch of money on that game, but at least our other games are all selling well right now, and we currently have Doug Dig coming up for our next game, Research and Graphic Studio. Once that's done, I believe I will buy this property, build myself a graphic studio, probably a support room and a marketing room probably the plan All right alien invasion off the market hey it made me money that's all that really matters at this point as long as they're profitable i'm happy like gladiator arena didn't make a whole lot but it made money right all right doug dig it is bug free 70 to 90 or i could polish it a bit let's just polish it till the end of the week there we go. All right, so let's finish development. No stars, which means we didn't reach our high in any category, but that's okay. Hand over to Teidu. Puzzle game. Hopefully it's over 80, but we'll, we will see. It may not be. It'll be close. If it's not over 80, it'll be close. Oh, we are an indie studio now. Nice. 80%. That's our my second 80%, I believe. All right, so let's do game report on that. And okay, so I want to get this password saves research done, but that'll take a bit of time. Plus, puzzle is the trend right now, so that should sell well. So is it time for second fantasy? I think it is. I think it's time for second fantasy. I believe my RPG engine is up to date. Let's double check. It is. I'm not too worried about password saves for an RPG, even though it might fit all right actually let's do an update for block mania that's my best selling game right now let's keep it that way let's keep it my best selling game right all right so that is done they're done in the game report so develop game sequel first fantasy second so do i want to call it first fantasy or do i want to call it second like first fantasy 2 i mean or do i want to call it second fantasy Let's go second fantasy. And then, you know, we'll have third fantasy, fourth, fifth. And God, I was up to like eighth or ninth, I think, one time when I used this naming convention. Wow, yeah, these two consoles are definitely the most popular. I think I'll have my fourth platform unlocked after this one. I think. All right, so we're pros at all the engine stuff. That's good. Okay, so... I'm going to assume game length up, beginner friendliness down, more core, more difficult, probably, right? In theory, at least. Let's look at the letters for Three Kingdoms here. Two casuals. So, yes, more core was the way there. But we know it's not right, so we might as well move it. There's no point in leaving it where it is. Um, let's look at this again. Can I look at the review of this game? Sound. So the sound struggled. I've, I've noticed that. I've had sound struggle a lot. So let's go two more points in the sound, move graphics down, move gameplay down again. Let's try that. See if that helps. Okay, put in everything there, which we are all max XP on all of those. So this should be a decent game. It should be close to 80. should be around similar to Doug Diggs' review. And I was correct. Fourth, fourth, uh, fourth platform was a lot. Oh, wait. Oh, uh, if I would have waited till the end of the week when this game technically went on market, I could have put Second Fantasy on an extra platform. Oh, well. All right, so we're going to cut out QA level design, but we'll leave game mechanics in. Because I took extra gameplay points off for this room, I want to get them back from this room, right? You know what I mean? If that makes sense. I would I'd also love to have a bigger research room right now, but... I won't have space for it over here if I do what, I, what I'm planning to do. All right, so 60 to 80, but there's still bugs. A couple of highs, including sound, although now graphics is struggling. So maybe I shouldn't have, I should have just taken, I shouldn't have taken out of graphics. I should have taken out of gameplay. Oh, well, that's fine. It'll be close to 80, I think. It'll be over 75. Well, the fact that it's still only saying 60 to 80, with a little polish here. 
Let's go large booth. Ah, this time we can put three games in. So we'll go second fantasy. We will go Doug Dig and Three Kingdoms. Get some hype for those. And we get a bunch of new fans. 1,700 fans. Beautiful. We got strategy games potentially now as well. All right, so let's finish development on this one. Hopefully it's over 75%. <laughs> I don't think it'll be over 80. As long as it's 75, I'm happy. Okay, 76, that's fine. I, I'm a little disappointed. I was expecting a little better, but you know, it is what it is, right? All right, so game report there. Let's do an update for Doug Dig here, and then we'll do an update for Second Fantasy. Let's see how it sells, though. It does have 49 hype right out of the gate, which is which is a lot. All right, 2200 in week one. That's a good sign. And let's do an update for that. Keep it fresh, keep it hot. Got some commission work we can do here. Not worth much, but it is worth something. Okay, those are good sales. Doug Dig is selling extremely well. All right, Graphic Studio is done. Um, gameplay features, cheat codes, and password saves. So let's bang these two out before I do another game. So let's do another update for Three Kingdoms. Sure. While we, while we research this stuff. And then an update for Doug Dig. The updates are coming coming fast. <laughs> Cheat codes is done. Password saves is almost done. So what kind of game am I gonna make? Make next? I'm gonna do another skill game probably. Probably the play. This is the trend for nine more weeks. Pretty sure my skill engine's up to date. I don't think I really need to worry about that. I do not. I mean, I could do like a adventure racing engine just to have, right? Might as well. Let's get that covered. Um, do adventure because the trend's going to change. And at that point, maybe we'll do an adventure game. We'll call this adventure engine. Because it's still going to be hard to make a decent adventure engine, apparently. I swear to God, I know how to spell adventure engine. All right, so while they do that, uh, and they're done. Um, all right, so let's get strategy game, and it is time to buy a new property. So let's get a lounge in here and the toilets. They're not going to be big, but oh, let's get some furniture in here automatically. Um, how do I do that? I forget. I think we go like this. Yeah. Perfect. And toilets. Because we had an issue with somebody didn't have space to wash their hands over there. So we definitely want to make sure we have a toilets over here. Right. And then we want. We just want a little support room. Nothing. Nothing too serious. Doesn't need to be all that big. That might even be bigger than it needs to be. To be honest. How many desks can we fit in there? Eh, what, three desks? Yeah, that'll work. So my graphic studio is not going to be very big for now, but eventually, eventually we'll get a bigger one. I know it's a really awkward shaped room, but <laughs> it's fine. Eh, eight desks, that's, that's more than big enough for my needs right now. And let's go marketing here. Speaking of oddly shaped rooms, <laughs> holy crap, six desks. I did not think there'd be that many. That's good, though. All right, so now the question is, <laughs> is there anybody to put in these rooms? Ooh, this, this is a game tester. They're unlucky, but they're efficient, and they're talented, but I think we're full over there, right? Yeah. Okay. Graphics. All right, two people, no really good trends, or trends, no good perks, but hey. They're graphics people. That's the important thing. And there is three office workers. No really great traits, but no negative traits. And they're all over 40. So we're going to put them in support for now. We'll get this customer support queue down. Once we get this down, we'll probably move them out and use them for marketing. 
I have a graphics person in here, don't I? I have two. I have two graphics per people in here, and we don't need two graphics people in here. We'll leave this one in here because they're an all arounder, but this one, we'll go over here. Now we have space in there. Let's see what we got for game designers. And good at sequels is nice. As time goes on, we'll be doing more and more sequels. Um, let's see what we have for programmers first. There's eight programmers. We're looking for one who's an all-arounder. No, no all-arounders. This one's good at engines, which is nice. Once I get a second development team, I definitely want people like this. So I'm going to go ahead and hire him. And I'm not going to, I'm going to leave empty space in here. In case like a legendary designer comes, right? We can, we can throw them in there. All right. So skill game, Cyberstalkers 3. Yeah, let's do Cyberstalkers 3. It's been long enough. Well, yeah, it does have do it. It does have IP value. Let's see. Let's see what our options are for skill game sequels. 40 hype, 2 IP value. Yeah, let's do that. Let's try to get this IP value going. So once you get decent IP values, you can you really get a lot of fans, right? A lot of people buy the games with high IPs generally. So Skill Engine, Apple, Katari, Pete, and the Astro Arcade. Now, instead of the Arcade, we could go with the Rod Event. Um, their sales are pretty similar. Eventually, the Rod Event will have more. But I'm just going to go with the Astro Arcade because the Rod Event has this thing where it's more complex, so it takes longer to develop, right? Whereas Astro Arcade is easy. So we can just... Like I said, right now the Astro Arcade is more. Eventually the Rod Event will have more, but it's not like drastically more, if that makes sense. So, all right, so, okay, there we go. Locked in, that there, that there, beautiful. Okay, so we have a graphics studio now, so we don't need to put a ton of points in the graphics. So let's put them in the sound instead, because we can get these points from our QA and from our graphics team, right? And 9 out of 10, 4 of which are important. So, yeah, this is going to be 80% or better. And hopefully, it's not another commercial failure. <laughs> right? Fingers crossed. Oh, and if you're enjoying this video, if you're enjoying this series, if you enjoy my content in general, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. helps out a lot as a small YouTuber. So, yeah, plus 40 hype right out of the gate. Good be good sales. Yeah, poor fashionista. Minus $100,000. Oh, hey, some bonus graphics points. One of my graphic designers has continued working on the current game in his or her spare time. As a result, many inferior graphics were improved. Nice work. Graphics team. All right, so they're bug fixing. They're almost done. They're polishing. Perfect. Continued development. And Okay, so customer support queue has been emptied. Let's put them over here. And we will do special marketing for um, Cyberstalkers 3. We will do a beta demo, and then we will release a pre-release for the press. And then we will send this out. So, so, so the, oh, wow, 80 to 100. Do you know what that means? That means this is probably over 90% review score. Wow, wow, these are really high. I mean... The graphics one makes sense that it would be our highest ever, right? The fact we get the highest in gameplay, highest in technical, it's because of the extra features, right? We had those two extra features this time. And special marketing pre release for the press. Is there any other office workers? No, there's one graphic designer. Ooh, efficient. I do like efficient. Efficient is this one, the clock. Efficient employees can complete all tasks marginally faster. It's a good one to have though. All right, so we'll get this done. Plus 18 for that demo. Wow, that's a lot. That might be the like the best demo I've ever I've ever had, <laughs> in all honesty. All right, so it's done. All right, so let's employee search. Let's get another office worker. Automatic repeat. We will go with efficient. It's a great trade for office workers. All right, so plus 3%. That's the pre-release for the press. So we're, that with this especially, I'm definitely expecting this review to be over 100%, or over 90, sorry. Well, A, loot, you can't get over 100%, and anything over 98 is extremely hard to get. It's very rare. But 
hey, I'll be happy with my personality. Oh my god, this <laughs> this genre is saturated though. Wow. Oh, not only over 90, but 93%. Alright, so we got an office worker. Boom. We'll throw them in there. We want to get this room relatively full, relatively fast. All right, so we'll do a game report, even though we know it was pretty much perfect slider-wise. Here, let's go new engine. Nope, not update old. New engine. We're going to do strategy. As generally getting in... Wait, am I not done researching that? No, I am not done researching that. So, <laughs> let's veer off here. Let's bang through these. Uh, ooh, those are relatively lucrative too. Although, I have a ton of money. I don't think bankruptcy is a threat anymore. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're good. So efficient, but unlucky. I don't like unlucky, so we're not going to hire them. Um, efficient, but unlucky. <laughs> Pass again. All right, so that's done. Strategy. Um, B plus. Let's get B plus. Be nice to get console development, but it's 10 million, right? It's <laughs> it's hard to get console consoles early in hard or harder difficulty right and that's okay we'll get a console eventually it's just not going to be right away all right so first fancy off the market that's fine because second fancy is out there Ooh, efficient and talented that's kind of the dream so i want to get all right so let's switch let's get a couple more graphics people instead oh that's a lot of negative traits with a lot of negative traits. All right, so graphics artist. Um, we could do efficient. I'm going to do more talented or lucky, right? Or sequels, right? Like there's a few different things that work. Although the sequel, when it says game, they generate higher gameplay points. Would that, would that mean they do more graphics points, I wonder? Talented is, it's nice you can get people really good really fast all right well let's hire like one efficient person then we'll switch it we'll get one lucky person we'll get one talented person we'll try that all right so okay so yeah i probably shouldn't Ooh, look at that efficient and talented welcome to the team bianca star unlucky no thanks Oh, I wish I, yeah, I shouldn't have done all this commission work. Another unlock. What's with all the unlucky? I'm not having much luck today. Ooh, efficient and an all-rounder. So I might find a way to get this person in this room eventually. Actually, so we want to switch and we want to get somebody who's lucky now, right? What's the plan? All right, so develop a game. No, engine. Got to do the engine first, Looch. New engine. Strategery. I know it's I know it's strategy. Um, Apple II, let's go Katari. Katari's gonna outpace it here very soon. And we will go Strat Engine 1.06. Let's bump this up to 5%. Although I don't think anybody has got an engine off me yet. Like my engines are for sale. People can license them from me. You get a pop-up for that, and I don't recall getting it. We do not want to do automation there because there's some really expensive stuff. That'd be a great way to accidentally bankrupt myself at this point in the game. Um, yeah, so I wish... I hate having people just doing nothing, but... All right, let's see if we can find one person who's lucky to fill out this room. Actually, let's get a little more picky here. So we only got a 16% chance of actually finding somebody, so... It's going to be a while before we get somebody, probably. That's okay. All right, so racing is the trend. Skill is the anti-trend, which is not good for Cyberstalkers 3. It is what it is. Because strategy, completely not saturated whatsoever. We will do a racing game, though, as well. But let's do a strategy for now. Um, Conquest? We will call this Takeover. So that's what a conquest is, right? Is taking stuff over, in a way. Sure, that's <laughs> that's what I'm going with. That's my that's my head cannon. Terry, top two. Pete and the arcade. 
So yeah, so the Rodovan is now equaled the arcade in users. But again, we're going to continue with the arcade just because it's easier to make games for. Um, strategy. Oh, God. I'm trying to remember where strategy is supposed to go. Gameplay definitely is supposed to be up. Move graphics way down because we can get graphics points from our graphics team. Try that. Probably hard. Probably core. Probably don't need strat story. Beginner friendliness, I'm not sure. Probably depth. Probably mission design. Maybe level design as well. Let's try that. All right, so only seven things apply, but it'll be fine. So this is not going to be a 90% review score, right? Just because of that. Um, and that's okay. Right? We Not every game at this point. Eventually... We're hoping to get every game be 90%, right? But even, I mean, the first game of a genre, I'll be happy with 80 here. Actually, you know what? I'll be happy with 75, right? Let's, let's be real. I'll be happy with 75% at this point. Well, we, oh, there's lots of graphics people. I might not. Oh, sorry. The game is, ooh. This person isn't legendary, but they're efficient, lucky, and good at sequels. I think I need to hire them. <laughs> oh, this is all the people I rejected. That's why there's lots of graphics people. <laughs> that makes sense. And this is mostly the people I rejected. All right. So, all right. So let's research. Now I have the money that I can just research these topics, right? <laughs> Pretty sure. Ooh, 50 to 70. Yikes. That's way worse than I was expecting slash hoping. Let's polish this up a bit. Let's do special marketing. Actually, let's do normal marketing. <laughs> We're at zero hype right now. Let's get it up to at least 25, right? Though, do I really want to hype a game? Oh, so somebody licensed my engine after me saying that nobody licensed my engines. Somebody licensed my engine. <laughs> Let's get to 25 and then we'll do this, the special marketing. Ooh, Cyber Soccer 2 is my first game to make a million. Although Doug Dig has also made a million. Second Fantasy is about to Three Kingdom. Okay, ooh, yeah, Block Mania. Man, that game did really well. Game did a lot of work. But even all this polishing can only go so far, right? I mean, it's our first strategy game, so we have no stars in it. Plus, my sliders are probably, clearly, clearly I did a poor job with the sliders, right? Come on, did I win something? Yay, game of the year. I'll take it. And we got primitive 2D block graphics. Okay, so let's wait for the result of the special marketing. In the meantime, let's release a demo for Doug Dig. Publish a demo. Just for the record, I just saw it in case anybody, in case this is, oh, words are hard. In case this is the first time you're watching me play this game, I refuse to do fake user reviews. I'm kind of role playing as like a actual, you know, not scummy video game developer here. So I will not be faking any user reviews. And I will not be putting in microtransactions, except maybe there's like an achievement for free to play game. That will be the only time I put in microtransactions. Okay, 60 to 80. So I'm going to say 72, 73 probably, which is fine, I guess. I would have liked a little better, but it is what it is. And a lot of these things, you know, is our first conquest. We're not good at the cheat codes or password saves yet. But it's the only strategy game in the market, so hopefully it sells well, even if it's not great. Oh, 76. Okay. There we go. I'm quite pleased with that. I'm tickled. Tickled pink. <laughs> All right, so blast off some commission work. Definitely want a game report for this since it was our first strategy game. We got no commission work there, so they're just going to have to be idle for a little bit. Let's get... But we want these... 
this new engine feature better graphics right will be huge so let's do an update for second fantasy yeah let's do second fantasy and then we'll do cyber stalkers 3. all right so there's a little extra hype for second fantasy as well all right what else need could go for a demo take over <laughs> three kingdoms well, Three Kingdoms is near the end of its life cycle. That was probably a waste. Eh, no, it's still moving a thousand a week. That's not bad. Cyberstalkers 3. Got to update the game of the year, right? I mean, it's the game of the year. All right, so anything else relevant? Four million. Maybe get the sound studio. Because my next purchase will be this room. And I will probably do, God, I need a lot of things. Like, I need a bigger research room, right? So if I make a bigger research room here, it allows me to make a bigger QA room as well, right? I would also like to get a second development team going. But if I have a sound, sound the sound studio is huge, right? It takes up a ton of space. So if I have the sound studio here, I would have room for the research team or the development team. Probably not both, because I will need a lounge and a and bathroom here probably it's a little too far of a walk i feel um hmm. that's tough all right update old engine all right well, what kind of game am i making here racing do i want to do a racing game it is the trend i guess so i probably should it's time so we're only going to include the best thing we're not going to include that since it's not good right there's better better options i haven't made a racing game already right <laughs> or did I? No, I didn't. I chose to do adventure instead because racing is hard to make a decent game at this point, but I'm going to try. But that will be in the next episode. That's all for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. In the links below, you will find my Discord, my other channel, and my Patreon. I would appreciate any support. Shout out to my patrons. Couldn't do it without you. Most importantly, be good to each other, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.